Hey everybody, this video is going to be about using a laser level for beginners. So I'm just going to establish a flat grade using my laser level. And I just want to show you guys that don't just normally use a laser level or who have never used a laser level, just how that's done. So this is a self-leveling laser. Now, what that means is you just need to push, push the button, turn the on button, and the laser will self-level itself as long as the base, which is that tripod I have, is somewhat level. It can't be too far out of level, but so you just push that button. You can see I pushed the on button. Now it's that green light is flashing. And as soon as the level is the laser is level, it'll start spinning like that. So now we're good to go. Now that laser, there's my grade stick. So I have a grade stick with a with a yardstick on it to to have some numbers that I can go by. So that laser right now is spinning a, a red beam that's perfectly level all the way around that room, 360 degrees. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm using the receiver to intercept that laser beam or to find that laser beam. And what that receiver does is it beeps, it beeps fast if I need to move it down to find the beam and it beeps slow if I need to move it up to find the beam. And once it finds that laser beam, it has a solid beep to it. So the homeowner gave me a spot to go from, and that was the top of that sill, like, like you just saw. So I, that's what the laser beam was reading on the top of that sill, about 21 and a half right there. And my grade that I want to establish is six and a half inches lower than that. So I'm moving it to 28. And what that is, that's going to be the top of my concrete floor. So in order for me to lower the grade, I had to move the receiver up on the stick. If that makes sense. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to go in the corner and I'm going to make a mark where my top of my concrete floor is using that, that laser beam and the receiver. And the receiver is going to tell me if I'm too high or too low by the beeps and then once it's perfect it's gonna beep solid and I can put my mark right there so that's gonna be the top of my concrete floor when I get ready to pour the concrete in here so now I can go all the way around the room and as you can see right there that's the mark right there I can go all the way around the room and set my my grade for my concrete floor that's gonna be perfectly level So I like to go in the middles, I like to go in each corner, and then, you know, normally what we'll do is we'll snap a chalk line once I have all these marks put in place, and that'll give me a nice level grade all the way around this room when you go to pour the concrete. So each time I go to one, one of these spots to mark the wall, I either have to, you know, I just set it in place, and then the receiver tells me if I need to move the stick down a little bit or up a little bit. And then all I'm doing is I'm, I'm waiting to hear that solid beep. And as soon as I get that solid beep, then I make the mark. So that's basically how you use a, a self-leveling laser to set a nice level grade on just about anything that you want to use it for. So, I mean, I use it every day for my concrete floors. So I come in here before we pour and I, I get my grade all established and then once I get my grade established then I can check the level of the sub base by moving the receiver and you'll see that in a second here and that'll tell me just how thick the floor is going to be now we were we were shooting for a four inch thick concrete floor in here so we'll see just in a minute just what that's going to be but, I mean, that all depends on how good the excavator or whoever did the sub-base grading, how, how good they did their job. And I'll be able to check that, and then that's how I figure my yardage for my concrete. If I just assume that they did a good job grading this, and I go by what they tell me, and they tell me, yeah, yeah, it's four inches, and then I order concrete, and it's not enough, you know, then I'm in trouble. So I come to every job. And so here I am. I'm checking the sub base level right there. So I'm moving, I'm moving that receiver up 
and I have my numbers of my grade stick to go by, and then I can figure out what the what the thickness is right there in that one spot, depending on how far I moved it up. So that one spot ended up being be in five and a half inches. And now I'll do the same thing over here. So if you can remember, 28 on that grade stick was top of concrete floor. And now I'm moving it to wherever I need to to figure out the sub base. So it could be 33, it could be 33 and a half. It's supposed to be 32, remember, for a 4 inches thick, so 28, the difference between 28 and 32 is 4 inches, but I've got a lot of 33s, 33 and a halves, I had one 34, that made, that was, made it 6 inches in that spot. So what I'm doing right now is I'm telling the guy, hey, we're, we're quite a bit thicker than 4 inches, we're 5 and a half over there, 5 and a quarter here. I thought it gets lighter. Right I thought in the middle it was a little and lower. The way I have things set up is, you know, my price is based on a four inch thick concrete floor. So any amount of concrete over four inches, you know, any amount of yardage over four inches, then they have to pay extra for that. So when I get all done shooting my grades here, this floor figured around 16 and a half, 17 yards at four inches. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, and I'll show you the, the pores coming up on the next video, but it ended up figuring about 21 and a half, 22 yards because of how thick the sub base made this thing. They just didn't put enough material in there before they put the poly over it. So you're going to end up having to pay for an extra, you know, four and a half, five yards of concrete. So I like marking it on top of that poly when I can. Then I can go back and get an average and go from